He said, make sure y'all subscribe. Subscribe. Do it. Right now. One step forward, two steps backwards, yeah. Hello you guys, what's up? And welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today's video is going to be another Sephora video, the spring savings event. It is coming up, if not already here, by the time I upload this video. So I am gonna be sharing with you guys some of my personal favorite products from Sephora, giving you guys some awesome recommendations, as well as sharing with you guys some products that I have in my cart that I really wanna buy, even though I should not be shopping because I recently just uploaded a Sephora haul. If you missed that, I'm gonna link it right up here in the cards. The spring savings event does start on April the 14th and it runs all the way until the 24th. So really depending on your tier level, really is gonna determine how much you are able to say. I wanna say Sephora collection is 30% off the entire sale, but Rouge members get 20% off. And your girl just so happens to be Rouge. I spent a lot of money in Sephora. I really have no shame in my game. I am just a girl who really loves to play in makeup, experiment with makeup. So keep in mind, I'm not really trying to sway you in one direction or another. I'm just sharing with you what I love. I do love watching these videos and I find them to be very, very helpful. So if you are interested in any of the products I mentioned in today's video, I will link them all down below in the description. And with that being said, I have a lot to get through. So grab your matcha tea, water, whatever you drink. Let's go ahead and get started. So let's go ahead and do things in the order in which I would do my makeup. More recently, I've become obsessed with face oils. I really like this one from Pharmacy. This is the Honey Grail Ultra Hydrating Face Oil. What I really love about it is that the formula, it's very thin in consistency, so it feels very lightweight, almost next to nothing on the skin. It also absorbs very quickly, so it really doesn't interfere with my makeup application. I do love to apply face oils right before I do my makeup because anything I put on top of it really just lays very smooth, it glides on, it looks so pretty, effortless, and my skin looks like skin. Definitely try it out if you have not incorporated face oils into your routine. I'm telling you, it's a game changer. The Refi Glow and Sculpt Face Primer is a product that I was on the fence about. I was a little skeptical. I wasn't really sure how to feel about it. Think hybrid jade roller and face primer all in one. The packaging is what really threw me off. I found that when I squeeze a little bit too much out, it just became very wasteful and messy. But once you get the hang of it and get past that, this is such a nice primer on the skin. It's very luminous and hydrating, and it just makes my skin overall look really nice and moisturized. But not only that, once you really start to work this into the skin with your fingers, it has a nice tackiness to it. So anything I put on top of it really just sticks really nicely. It's definitely a nice change change of pace from the other primer I was using, which is the Milk Hydro Grit Face Primer. Y'all know I love that one and I always recommend it, but this one's really nice and different. For years and years and years, I was really obsessed with the Fenty Matchstick in the shade Mocha, but more recently, I've been reaching for this contour stick by Makeup by Mario. This is the Soft Sculpt Shaping Stick in the shade Light Medium. It is a dual-ended product, so you have the product here and then you also have a brush on this end. I actually hate the brush, so I never use a brush, but I love the formula. It blends beautifully onto the skin, but it's not too emollient to the point where you put it on and it like slips and slides everywhere. Wherever you put it and wherever you blend it, it stays in place and it does not move all day long. Probably the most long wearing contour stick I have in my collection. So if you're looking for a good one, check this one out. Another bronzing product that I really love and I feel like I always recommend every sale is the Airbrush Bronzer by Charlotte Tilbury. You can definitely see I love this one. I've hit pan on it. It is a huge bronzer. I've had it for a couple of years and I use it every single day. I definitely feel like this is a foolproof bronzer. So if you are a beginner in makeup and you're just getting into bronzing, contouring, highlighting, that type of thing, definitely check out this powder bronzer because whenever you put it on, there's no way you can mess it up. It really just glides on, blends out very nicely, and it always looks really pretty, soft, and diffused. So let's talk about base products because I kind of feel like I have a lot of different types to get through. So let's start off with the skin tint. I've been loving the Ilia Super Serum Skin Tint. This was very hyped up for a while for very good reasons. It's very pretty on the skin. If you're looking for something to reach for on your very minimal no makeup makeup days, then this is a good option. It is very dewy 
dewy, luminous, and just like overly glowy. So if you have oily skin, I would probably steer clear of this because it can look oily very quickly. It has SPF 40, hyaluronic acid, niacinamide, and squalene. So you can imagine that this is a very hydrating, just glistening type of formula. Another base product I wanna mention is a luminous product, but it's not overly luminous to the point where it looks oily or greasy. And I'm talking about the Giorgio Armani Luminous Soap Foundation. I always go back to this foundation. This really is a foolproof foundation that looks good for any and every occasion. It's a little pricey, but the best time to purchase pricier products is during the Sephora sale when you can get a discount. The shade I have here is 4.5. This is actually the foundation I'm wearing on my face right now. I find that when I put this on, it blends seamlessly into the skin and my skin still looks like skin. It has a really pretty glow to it, but it doesn't look oily or greasy. It's also medium to buildable coverage. So definitely check this one out. It covered everything up. And in my opinion, my skin looks flawless. I mean, thank you, Giorgio Armani. Last foundation I wanna mention is the All Hours Foundation by Saint Laurent. This is a luminous matte foundation. It is up there in price point. I'm not gonna lie, when I first tried this out, I'm like, how can a foundation be luminous and matte all at the same time? I have no clue, but this made me a believer. Typically, I don't gravitate towards matte foundations because sometimes I just find they're way too dry and just cracky and cakey on my skin. That is not the case with this foundation. When you put it on, you do get full on coverage. So it's gonna cover up every blemish imperfection, sunspot, you name it, but your skin still looks like skin. It's unreal. You have to try this formula out to know what I'm talking about. Maybe go to Sephora and get a sample because it's really that good. <laughs> My concealer of choice is the Dior Forever Skin Correct Concealer, but that probably comes to no surprise because I have been using this concealer for a couple of years. It's definitely one of my top favorites. It really helps to cover up everything underneath my eyes. So it definitely is a buildable to medium full coverage concealer, but it's not heavy. It doesn't look dry. It doesn't crack. It doesn't do any of that. It looks so pretty underneath the eyes. It really is a foolproof concealer that I recommend to any and everyone. So there was a time where I really just thought I eyeshadow primers were a gimmick. I stopped using them all together. I would do my eyeshadows super cute, super nice, go outside, come home, do my thing. And I noticed that my eyeshadow was down the side of my face. So needless to say, I can't do my makeup without using eyeshadow primer. And an eyeshadow primer I've been loving is this one here by Rare Beauty. I love how thin in consistency the formula is. So it works really well for my very minimal, no makeup makeup days. It blends very easy into the rest of my makeup. But not only that, it works really well for my long wearing, like full coverage kind of days. It gives what it needs to give. It primes my eyelids, creates a really nice smooth base for my eyeshadows to stick to and last for a long period of time. I really feel like a broken record at this point because for every single sale, time and time again, I recommend the same exact palette and it never changes. So here I am again for like the sixth sale in the row. Make by Mario Master Matte's eyeshadow palette is my top eyeshadow palette recommendation. In fact, only eyeshadow palette recommendation. That's how serious this is. This is such a pretty all matte eyeshadow palette. You can create so many different looks with this. I also love how universal the palette is. So not only can you use it for eyeshadow, but you can use certain browns in here as brow powders. You can also use certain browns as eyeliners. The black is an eyeliner. You can do so many things with this palette. I recommend it to any and everyone. The mattes are beautiful. They blend seamlessly onto the eyes. They don't get patchy, muddy, anything like that, I kid you not, I carry this with me everywhere. If you're looking for a really nice eye topper, I definitely recommend checking out the Master Crystal Reflector by Makeup by Mario in the shade Bronzite. This is such a pretty formula. It's very thin in consistency. So when you put it on the eyes, it almost feels like next to nothing, but that's what I love most about it. Think grown and sexy eye topper for adults. You remember back in the day when we used to put like um, the Stila glitters all over our eyes and it was just very chunky and gritty. This is the complete opposite of that. It looks Looks very faint, almost next to nothing, but at night it really just shines like no other. It's so pretty. You guys have to swatch it to know exactly what I'm talking about. I do have it all over my eyes and I'm really just obsessed with the way that this looks. It's definitely been my day-to-day -day eye topper whenever I want to add like a little bit of razzle dazzle to my look.
look. Now this mascara was definitely hyped up all over TikTok and it really took me a while to try and test it out. And that is the Tower 28 Make Waves Volumizing and Lengthening Mascara. It does have more of like a plastic bristle brush, which I'm not really into. But one thing I really love about it is that the brush is curved. So it really hugs and grips onto every single lash. This mascara really made me a believer. I'm wearing it on my lashes today and it gives me the prettiest amount of length and volume at the same time. It's definitely a mascara I have not been able to put down. You guys know more recently, I've just been into wearing mascara and this has been a top favorite of mine. I own a lot of powders in my collection, but there are actually a couple that I'm really obsessed with. So let's talk loose powder. A loose powder I am head over heels for is this one here by Laura Mercier. This is the newer version. It's the ultra blurring talc free loose powder and I cannot say enough good things about this. I actually had to look it up because when I put it underneath my eyes, it looks so pretty soft and like airbrushed. I actually found out that this powder is infused with hyaluronic acid. So it is a hydrating under eye powder. If you have been struggling with a loose powder underneath your eyes and it looking too dry, definitely try this one out because it's a lot different than the original formula. So let's talk pressed powder. A pressed powder that I'm really obsessed with is this one here by Kosas. This is the Cloud Set Powder in the shade Comfy. What I really love about this formula is that it's very, very thin in consistency and it's very lightweight on the skin. So let's say I'm going for a very minimal no makeup makeup day. I want to still keep that natural fresh look, but I need to powder down. I'll go in with a little bit of this. This really helps to set things down and in place, take away that shine without adding additional coverage. So your skin Skin still very much looks like skin and it looks very natural overall. So if you're looking for that, this is the powder for you. If you're on the hunt for a really good under eye brightening powder, that's not gonna make your under eyes look stark white. Definitely check this one out by Charlotte Tilbury. This here is the Airbrush Brightening Finishing Powder. So it's very similar to their face powder in a sense that it's very, very fine. It looks really pretty soft and airbrush on the skin. Almost looks like you're wearing a filter, but this one is very brightening underneath the eyes. I know it looks really white in the pink can, but it doesn't go on white at all. It has really nice fine iridescence to it. So it really adds a pretty veil and a nice brightening effect underneath the eyes. I do have the shade fair to medium in case you guys were curious. Let's actually talk about blush really quickly because I definitely feel like over the years, my color preference in blush has changed so much. I'm really into like this really bubblegum pink type of blush. I never thought that this was a color that could look good on me, but I am wearing it on my cheeks today. It's really, really gorgeous. And I'm more obsessed with this formula. This is by Patrick Ta Beauty. This is the Double Take Cream and Powder Blush. I love that I have the option of just applying the powder or the cream or both together. I will say when you apply both together, you get such a pretty long wearing formula that's really luminous and natural on the skin. So applying both together is definitely my favorite way of applying this. If you've tried this, let me know. I do own them in pretty much every single shade. So it's safe to say I'm obsessed. Another blush that I'm really loving is this one here by Say. This is the Dew Blush in the shade Rosy. It's kind of like a rosy mauve. It's really, really pretty. It's definitely a little bit thicker than like a liquid blush. But what I love about it is that I can actually take the applicator straight to my face, buff and blend it out, and it doesn't interfere with my makeup underneath. It also doesn't get patchy. It looks very dewy, luminous, and it lasts all day. Another blush formula that I'm so obsessed with is the Matte Beauty Blush Wands by Charlotte Tilbury. I heard a lot of mixed reviews about this formula, but I personally really love it. Specifically the shade here in Dream Pop, it's a really pretty pink shade. It definitely is more of a deeper pink if you're really looking for something that is going to add a really nice flush of color to your cheeks for spring, look into this one. I love the formula. Whenever I put it on the cheeks, it blends very nicely. I will definitely say for $42, it is a little expensive considering it does come out a little bit sheer, but you can definitely build this up to your desired intensity, which does make it very user-friendly. So if you're a beginner in makeup, I think that this will be very, very easy for you to use. Keep in mind the packaging is a little hit or miss. If you don't completely close it, then you know these things will kind of explode all in your purse, all of that. But all in all, I do really love it. It's very long wearing and the colors that they came out with are gorgeous. Believe it or not, I really haven't been into highlighter as much, but a highlighter I personally really love that I would definitely recommend is the Dior Backstage Glow Face Palette in the shade 001. There's another shade in 002. Don't get that one. That one's more champagne. And I know it's a little tempting, but that one's like really glittery. It looks like 
chunks on your face. This one's very, very fine in consistency. It looks really pretty. I like to take a brush like this. This one's actually by Laura Mercier and I'll dip into both the top two products and then I'll kind of glide this across my cheek. I love this brush because it dips in a little bit so it really hugs the cheek and it applies my highlighter in such a beautiful, soft and diffused way. Insane, love it, you guys gotta try it. Let's move on to lip products. I feel like the ABH lip liners are always overlooked, but they launch these in such good shades. It really is just like a basic lip pencil that you have to sharpen, so it's nothing fancy. It's not retractable, but I personally don't mind a good old fashioned lip pencil. I really love the formulas of these. They're very long wearing, they're very pigmented. They don't pill, they don't ball up. You can use them as lip liner or you can actually use it to fill in your lips completely. I do love four shades from the line so i'll link them all down below but i'll just sound them off as well warm taupe deep taupe malt and hazelnut are some of my personal favorites for lip color i'm definitely going to recommend my tried and true lip color by charlotte tilbury this here is in the shade nude k it's a really pretty milky like peachy nude it doesn't look good on its own you definitely have to pair it with a lip liner which is exactly what i did today i'm wearing the lip liner in hazelnut paired with nude K and I'm telling you, it's the prettiest new lip color. Like I'm obsessed with it. A couple more lip products that I've really been into are the Moisture Glow Plumping Lip Serums by Makeup by Mario. I have the shade here in Nude Glow. It's a really pretty beige nude. And then I also have Pink Glow. I definitely don't recommend wearing these all on their own. I love to pair them with some kind of lip liner. Otherwise, they can look a little too milky on the lips, but these also have a nice tingle to them. So they also provide the lips with a really nice plumping effect. Speaking of plumping, if you're looking for something that's gonna add a nice plump and mm to your lip, check out this here by Patrick Ta. This is the Major Volume Plumping Lip Gloss in the shade Pouty. So it's a really nice baby pink. I actually like to apply this right before I do my makeup because not only does it provide my lips with intense shine, but it has that nice tingly feeling to it. So it's really going to prep my lips, give it that nice plump before I start going in with my lip products. This is the last lip product, I swear. The Summer Fridays Lip Butter bombs are really good. I love to reach for these on my very minimal no makeup makeup days. This is a type of product I like to keep in my purse if my lips are feeling dry and I want to add like a little bit of color. I have the shade vanilla beige so it does have a really nice tint to it but it's not too overpowering. I do know they came out with some other shades like more recently so I definitely want to pick some of those up. They're pretty, they're bright, they're fun for spring but overall I really love the formula. It really helps to hydrate and moisturize the lips so if you can't find the Dior lip oils, definitely check out these by Summer Fridays because they are really good. Let's go ahead and finish off the makeup category with setting spray. This is a top favorite of mine. You can tell I'm almost out. I probably have to restock this during the sale, but this is the Milk Hydro Grip Set and Refresh Spray. I mainly use it to set my makeup down and in place, really melt down all of those powders to give me a really pretty natural skin finish. I also love that this really helps the longevity of my makeup. I live in Florida, it's hot, it's humid. I'm always looking for a setting spray that's really gonna lock everything in place. And this has been my go-to. If you've been following my channel for a while now, then you know I really struggled with acne for a while. More recently, I feel like I really got it under control, but I do get the occasional breakout. And I'm talking about like those really tiny, painful pimples underneath the skin. Like those pimples that you can feel are gonna be like a pain in the ass. And whenever I feel those coming on, I do reach for these. So I definitely wanted to recommend them to you guys. These are the Peace Out Acne Healing Dots. They are so good. From one day to another, they decrease in size by like more than 60%. They're just little dots. You put them over top of the pimple and these dots have salicylic acid. So it really helps to draw out the impurities and just get rid of the acne. They're not as painful. They look a lot better. And I have noticed that when I put these on, I don't scar as bad. So if you do struggle with acne or the occasional really painful pimple, Check these out. The last product I wanna share with you guys before I get into the products in my cart is this here by the brand Color Wow. This is the Color Wow Root Cover Up. I am a new mom. I did go through postpartum hair loss and I know this is not a fix to postpartum hair loss. It really is just like a cover up, a concealing method. But until my hair fully grows back, I needed something to really help me out because whenever I pull my hair all the way back, 
I have a little bit of a receding hairline. I'm a little embarrassed about it, but it is what it is. It happens to the best of us. Pretty much, this is a dual-ended brush with a little bit of a root cover-up. I like to use a short bristle to really pack on the pigment and the color, and then I'll actually use a longer bristle to buff and blend it out. Whenever I wear my hair in like a slick back bun and it looks like I have a full hairline, don't be fooled. I'm wearing some of this. It works incredible. It lasts a really long time until I wash it out. And it definitely is one of my favorite root cover-ups. All right, let's go ahead and jump into my favorite part, which is me sharing with you guys some of the products that I have in my cart. I can't say for sure whether or not I'm gonna pull the trigger on all of these, but they're definitely some products that I have my eye on. So the first one is the Make It Forever HD Skin Matte Long Wear Blurring Powder Foundation. Ooh, that's definitely a mouthful. It retails for $43. It comes in a bunch of different shades, but the shade I'm looking at is 2Y20, which is a warm nude. It's for light to medium skin tones with yellow undertones. I definitely feel like that could be my perfect match. I'm not entirely sure if this is just a reformulated version of the old powder, but I have heard really good things about it. It is a long wearing waterproof, full coverage matte finish, and it says it's best for oily to combo skin. So that's definitely something I wanna try. Another product that I'm looking at from Makeup Forever is the new HD Skin Twist and Light Luminous Finishing Powder. It's very different and interesting. It comes with three different colors that is meant to blur, color correct, and illuminate the complexion. It's supposed to give radiance and it's also supposed to blur. It comes in four different shades. I think I'm looking more towards 2.0 medium, but I definitely wanna go in store to get a feel for like what the colors look like in person. It retails for $45, so it is a little up there in price point, but it looks very interesting and who knows, I may pick it up for a first impression to see how it goes. I've really been obsessed with eye toppers. So another like eye topper that I'm looking at is by Urban Decay. This is the 24 seven moon dust eyeshadow in the shade Space Cowboy. It's a light champagne gold with silver sparkle. I definitely feel like this would be really pretty for day to day. I don't want it to look like chunky glitter. So this may be another item that I have to go in store to swatch to make sure it's exactly what I'm looking for, but it's $24. I've heard nothing but great things about it. And it's also offered in a few different shades if that's something you're into. So I know we talked about postpartum hair loss, but I saw Nicole talk about this in one of her stories. So it really got me interested. It's a brand Nutrafol. It is a hair growth supplement for thinning hair. It retails for $88 for a one month supply, 120 capsules, which is so crazy. $88 is really expensive to pay on a monthly basis, but the reviews are really, really good. I'm looking at the vegan capsules. This may be something that I add to cart, use over a period of time and update you guys in a future video, but it's definitely something I'm looking at. Another hair product I have in my collection is by K18. It is the Molecular Repair Hair Oil. It does retail for $65, which is up there in price point for a hair oil, but this one actually does a couple of different things. It's good for damage, frizz. It also provides heat protection and increases shine. It claimed it's good for all hair types as well. Straight, wavy, curly, coily, whatever hair type you have. Fine, medium, thick, which is awesome. So we'll see what happens. I may pull the trigger on this because I am really on the market for a new heat protectant. So a product I'm really looking to replace is the Dior lip oil because they're always out of stock anytime I want to restock. So I see here that Merit has the Shade Slick Jelly. It's a sheer tint lip oil. They offer it in four different shades. I think I'm leaning more towards a shade called Jetty, which is a sheer natural color. I feel like I would get the most use out of that for day to day. Another product that really caught my eye is by One Size by Patrick Starr. It's called the Secure the Sweat Waterproof Mattifying Primer. Typically, I'm not really into mattifying primers, but I feel like if I really prep my skin really well beforehand, I won't have an issue with it. What's really drawing me to it is the waterproof aspect. I do live in Florida, it's hot, it's humid, so I'm always looking for a product that is going to extend the wear of my makeup. This retails for $34. It says it's good for pores, it's a matte finish, it's very long wearing, and it's
it's waterproof. So I'm definitely getting that. All right, you guys. So that is pretty much it for today's video. I loved sitting down and chatting with you about makeup. I feel like it's not something I've done in a really long time. Going over my favorites, my recommendations. I definitely, definitely enjoyed today's video. And of course, sharing with you guys the products that I have in my Sephora cart. Let me know what you're picking up during the sale. I would love to know. I love getting your product recommendations as well because some of my favorites are actually products that you guys have recommended to me down below in the comments. So let's chat a little bit. Subscribe if you guys haven't already. And if you guys wanna see any videos in particular, let me know as well. I love you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. And until next time, I'll be sure to catch you guys all on the next one. Deuces.